In this tutorial video, we will have a look on GY521 module, which is also named as MPU6050. This module features a 3-axis gyroscope, a 3-axis accelerometer, a digital motion processor, and a temperature sensor. The Arduino retrieval data from GY521, the sensor values are retrieved by using the I2C serial data bus, which requires only two wires, which is SCL and SDA. In this tutorial, we will make use only of the first four pins, which is VCC, GND, SDA, and SCL pin. This is a very important part, where to connect the SDA and SCL pins. Actually, there are some Arduinos uh, which has SCL and SDA pins. If you have such Arduino you know, then just go for it. Uh, just connect SCL pin to SCL, SDA pin to SDA. But if you can't find the SCL and SDA pin on your Arduino, you have to use other pins. There is a table uh, which, shows, uh, which shows the connection of the various Arduinos. As I am going to use Arduino UNO, so I will connect SDA pin of GY521 into Arduino's A4 and SCL into A5 pin of your Arduino. Wide library is used to establish an I2C connection between the Arduino UNO and the GY521 module. At the start of the code, the wide library header is included. Next, we define and declare some variables, then we use to convert function uh, so that the values of all sensors must be same. Uh, in the setup function, basically we have uh, a, a serial connect connections is established and then we start the I2C communication between GY521 board and wake up, wake up uh, this GY521 module from the sleep mode. And then we see the uh, the seven values in the in the loop function. We will see that the seven sensor values: three accelerometer, one one temperature, three gyros, uh, gyroscope, and are requested from GY521 module. Each sensor value has a size has a size of two bytes, uh, but the register has a size of one byte. After opening the uh, serial monitor, you will see the different values of uh, accelerometer, temperature, and gyroscope. We will focus on the values of the accelerometer. If we tilt our uh, breadboard in that direction, so the negative values will increase. If we tilt our breadboard in that direction, so the positive values, uh, positive x values increase. If we tilt our uh, breadboard in that direction, so the uh, negative uh, values increase in the y column. Uh, and if we tilt our breadboard in that direction, so the positive values of y increase. If you are going to use this colored LED, so you need a 100 ohm resistor for limiting the current, otherwise the LED will burn out. Uh, but if you are using this transparent uh, LED, uh, 3mm or 5mm LED, so uh, that would be sufficient for um, bearing the current from Arduino. With the help of this circuit diagram, we will do some connections. I would suggest to connect the GY521 module at the middle of your breadboard. It, in that way, it will give you the better response. Now connect the LEDs at the corner of your uh, breadboard. Now give the ground to these LEDs by connecting the small jumper wires. After giving the grounds to the LED, uh, complete the rest of the connections. Uh, uh, this is basically the right side of your uh, breadboard and this one is the left side of your breadboard. You just need to connect the uh, right top LED at the pin number 13 and the right bottom LED to pin number 12 on your Arduino and the left uh, left side top LED uh, to the Arduino's pin number uh, 11 and the bottom one uh, goes into pin number 10. After that, connect the GY521 module with your Arduino. Connect the SCL pin to A5 and SDA pin to A4 and GND goes into GND and VCC goes into 5V. And then upload the code uh, into your Arduino. As we have connected 4 LEDs, so first of all we will uh, initialize the 4 LEDs by declaring it with uh, some variables and uh, giving them a uh, pin number, a uh, designated pin number. We have connected 4 LEDs with the 4 different pins and then declare these LEDs an, as an output. Uh, in While going into the loop, uh, in the in the void loop, basically we have uh, made a code. Uh, we, used, uh, we used 2 values basically for um, x-axis, we use x-axis and y-axis values.
if you tilt your Arduino in that direction, so uh, the value of Y is increased in the negative uh, negative scenario, and uh, you can simply turn on the uh, you can simply turn on the LEDs which side the uh, Arduino is lifted. So it is very simple code, and uh, you can simply change it from 8000 to if you reduce the values from 8000 to like 4000, 3000. So you uh, you you need to lift the uh, breadboard less. If you increase the values from 8000 to like uh, 10000 or 11000, you need to lift your breadboard much to uh, turn on the LEDs uh, from that side. The LEDs will be turned on by tilting the breadboard in any direction. The sensor shows different readings uh, by changing its position. So if we tilt the breadboard from any side, so the LED connected at that corner will be turned on.